It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. I just rolled out of bed and I saw my man Young Philly got a song with H. And I'm excited for this because we checked out some Philly recently. Obviously, I watched that man on YouTube. I think he's literally gold for the platform, if I'm being completely honest with you. But H is one of those guys. Like when I started to listen to music outside of America, this man is it. Like he's so fired to me. So I, I think that this is really dope that they ended up doing a collab and I wanted to dive into it. So let's uh, let's see what they do with this one. <laughs> Down, mommy. Simmer down, didn't know you needed <laughs> now, mommy. I'm Let's in go. it now, watch me turn into a pound, mommy. A million pound is kind of flowing right down, mommy. <laughs> My man said... Yo, you gotta love Philly. This man is straight comedy, but I like how we started it. Simmer down, I can't, I can't sing, so I don't even know why I try to imitate these parts. But simmer down, mommy. Simmer down. Didn't know you needed now, mommy. I'm in it now. Watch me turn into a pound, mommy. A million pound is kind of flowing right and down, mommy. I know, I know, I know, I need that, need that. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't take you for a key. So it's looking like we need a separation. I'm doing road, so I can't do no obligation. Look. Put you in that Range Rover and Gucci purse. Too sexy and I like the way you move in a skirt. Hit the bar on the plane because we flew in in first. Get the lobster for dinner, eat you for dessert. Yeah. All these women, they ain't bothered than my baby is. Before I hit it, I'm just trying to put my face in it. Future bright, got me putting on my shades. But with you, I see the Yo. color gray. All 50 shades of it. Woo! Yo, H fire, bro. This man just smooth with it. He's like, before I hit I'm trying to put my face in it. Then I changed the gray off at the shades. Yo, like, the, okay, listen, this man's smooth with it. You gotta like H. The plane, cause we flew in in first. <laughs> Get the lobster for dinner, eat you for dessert. Yeah. Ooh. All these women, they ain't bothered than my baby is. Yeah. Before I hit it, I'm just trying to put my face in it. Yeah. Future <laughs> bright, got me putting on my shades. But with you, I see the color gray, all 50 Ooh. shades of it. Simmer Ooh. down, back it up, spin around, mm -hmm. drop it low, go lower, let that ass hit the ground. Ooh. Don't forget to make it arch when you bounce. Know your parents downstairs, so we can't make a sound. Couple goals, they ain't trying to us. This ain't an ordinary Merc, it's made back on my truck. Go shopping when we land, stop packing your stuff. I'm too nasty, you pussy straight after the Feel club. Feel like I'm on away. <laughs> my man said, I'm too nasty. I eat that pussy straight after the club. It's a, that's a dangerous move. That's a, that's a dangerous move. Okay. All right. I rock with it, H. Yo, it's wild. He said, like, your parents uh, downstairs, so we got to be quiet type of thing. And it brings me back to so many different memories when I was younger where, like, when you think about it as you get older, you're like, yo, we did some crazy shit, right? Took some risks. Like, some risks, risks. Especially if you, you was ever hanging out with someone who had a father that was about that life you know what i'm saying like as far as like yo you fucking with my daughter what like you got to be careful but you took those risks because it just felt like it was worth it at the time it's like this is this is the prize you know what i'm saying like you got to go for it let's go philly I just like the way that he does it because it's like it's a seriously dope track, right? Like if you just listen to it, it's got a nice vibe to it. Like it, it just it's got that feel. But I like how he adds comedy to the video. We're like they just having fun. He's like, yo, simmer down, mommy. Like just the way that he does it, it, it it's funny. Like I like it. It's not too much comedy, but it adds a little bit of that laugh factor to it, which is uh, it just adds to everything. Simmer down, mommy. Simmer down. VVS is swimming round. They swimming round. I'm in and out the globe because I got a pound to spend. Took a private jet right out the end. Oh. I know, I know, I know you fell in love with this. But did you fool for me or this life? Or this life for I know, I know, I know you get a buzz from this. But are you gonna be here all the time? What's the matter? What's the situation? If it wasn't for the molar, would you still be vacant? Would you hold me down and have me looking for a replacement? Bought a crib for my mama. I need one. I'm just realizing now this might be the song that we reacted to from him before but he did a, a little um like a remix so to speak with H I could be wrong because that verse sounded familiar to me 
the whole I need one adjacent, like the whole that whole scheme that he went through, which is fine with me. It's dope. I didn't even consider it because, listen, I rolled straight out of bed. Hopefully, I ain't even got sleep in my eyes anymore. I tried to like wash up a little bit, but you know, sometimes shit be happening like that when you just literally roll out of bed right into your chair. <laughs> <laughs> let's go that was uh that was dope that was extremely dope one of the things that he said though was like are you are you here just because of the position that i'm in which is something that i feel like anybody that starts to gain a lot of attention money stuff like that is something that they have to consider it's it's like it's a tough thing though right because it's like obviously when it comes to like men and women you know like i feel like men are more understanding of like if this woman just has a job at the dollar store right but she's bad and she's cool and all this other stuff the guy doesn't seem to care as much and i'm not saying all women care because obviously guys that work at these different places and i'm not trying to hate on anybody that works at like the dollar store i'm just trying to think of like an example but like dollar store versus ceo of a company is a big difference right so that's that's all i'm doing is trying to compare it and obviously people of all different walks of life have relationships people that don't even have employment have relationships but I'd say that there's a larger percentage of women who would look at that and be like, I don't know, right? Like he's cute, he's cool, but doesn't seem like he has his shit together or something like that. So they may not want to date him or he doesn't have his shit together at the level that I would prefer, right? Whereas I feel like there's there's guys that may feel that way about women, but I think that there's way less guys that would feel that way than girls. And that's probably because we're just animals, bro. We're dogs. We're, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, listen, she looks good. I'm here for it. That's the kind of mentality I feel like a lot of guys have. So it's like, it's it's not that crazy for a woman to be like, I would like him to have his shit together. And obviously, if you have a whole lot of attention on you, you're making a whole lot of money and stuff, you've got your shit together at an ultimate level. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're one of the, the few percentages of people that, that are really, really doing well. And so obviously, that's going to attract them to you as well. It doesn't mean that they don't like you, that they don't like you as a person, but you have to do that navigation now because there are also some women out there that will attach to somebody like that just because of that and just hope that they're going to get some shit out of it and have no real care for the long term or really care for the person at that level it's just the the lifestyle is really what drew them in um and i'm sure again that it happens in reverse i'm sure there's some guys that get the attention of some women that are extremely popular famous celebrities make a lot of money whatever it is and they're like already kind of attracted to them a little but the, it like elevates it and they're like you know what my life will be amazing or i can use her to catapult my own career type of thing so i mean it does happen both ways for sure but it, it's just it just seems like it happens more so in one direction than the other and again i'm not saying that it's because women are bad or anything i just think that it's because men are dogs and we're just willing to whatever it is we're, I'm, we're down you know what I'm saying? Like, so I think that it's more so coming from a, a space like that, but it's just an interesting concept because once you're in that position, like you've, you've got to find a way to like vet these women or vet these men, like to, to make sure that they're actually there for the proper reasons. And there's nothing wrong with them also wanting to be attracted to the lifestyle. Like, obviously that's going to be a part of it because that's part of the package, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be the entire package and everything that they should be striving for. So you got to kind of be careful and play that. But anyways, this was dope. Shout out to Young Philly. Shout out to H. This is a dope little collab. I didn't know that was going to happen, but I, I think it makes sense, though, because I feel like H has, has shown love to YouTube and, and YouTubers and stuff like that. And he's acknowledged what they do. And so I, I, I'm not like surprised by this, but I just I, I guess. But I, I just never really considered that it was coming. So let me know down below what you guys thought about it. And I will catch you in the next one, homies.